Hello, and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. Alright. <laughs> it was funny, before I got on, uh, I was, like, talking about one thing to myself. I was, like, making commentary, even though I wasn't recording at all, which then I made fun of that to myself also. And you could go with, like, oh, you're just, it's probably because you're trying to get ready. No, it's the fact that I'm talking about it, and then it's like, I could be ready for it, but no, I'm not going to talk about it again after that. So I thought that was quite funny because I yelled at myself. And then I went right back to doing it. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I think I talk to myself a bit too much. I, I tend to do it because I don't like talking in my head and makes me feel like I'm crazy. I only do that, of course, when there's other people around. So I'm not, like, blurting out words randomly for, like, no reason. But... What I was talking to myself about was more about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Because I'm just... I'm just literally ex so excited for that game that I cannot stop thinking about it. And it's been a while since I've like had like an instance of that. Like I think the last time it was probably um, uh, Alan Wake too. But you have to know though too that Alan Wake One is like one of my big favorites and then whenever I saw that they were making um, a second game I was just ecstatic because I thought they would never make another one I never even thought they would make a sequel and that like or like a remaster of it but oh and behold they they shocked me with that too Uh, oh, it's been a while since we had one of these. Randy Styles. Uh, real name? Oh, same thing. Reigns 100, Brawn 80, affiliation none. Once he was a doctor, Uckman's research partner, working late nights to develop all manner of technology for the betterment of mankind. Until one day, he just vanished. Months later, reports surfaced of Styles showing up in numerous places all over the world. A brief appearance in Mexico, a short stint in Japan, materialization in the Australian outback. With each visitation, he helps people in need and vanishes again. Some speculate Styles obtained this ability through an accident with Dr. Uckman's experimental mental quantum teleporter though he um then mentally denies those claims neutral doesn't help that the picture of him is showing going through a damn portal <laughs> but um i was like thinking about so much i wasn't thinking about maybe recording it but i might i don't know uh oh <coughs> oh jeez excuse me well Wow, you get to see a lot of neat areas in this. It does suck that you're kind of stuck in one place, but it's kind of hard to make a reason to... Just paying attention. Nope. Sometimes I wish you could just use the melee weapons or not. Oh, you have a note. Woods, here's the list of deserters. Jiso Hong, female. Andre... Dominguez? I don't know how to say that. Male. Chris Marsh, male. Adam Peters, male. We know some of the supplies they stole contained weapons. Be careful. While it's preferable to capture them alive, <laughs> do not risk your lives. Any sign of danger, you have the permission to take them out. If they wanted to leave, we could have worked something out. But desertion combined with stealing cannot be tolerated. We need to make an example here. May your survival be long. May your death be swift. Good luck, Isaac. Well, honestly, they didn't make it that far. And also, let me be a little bit more careful this time. Because I wasn't expecting um, enemies like that. Mm. 
Ooh, tons of free alcohol. Come on, Oliver. Damn, I was able to load up with some pistol ammo. Can I pick that up, please? There we go. <clears throat> I like how it, it does feel like supplies are a little bit easier to come by in this game. But now it's like ammo is like the hardest thing. Ammo was pretty decent to get. It wasn't easy, but it was decent. Oh. Okay. Jesse's here. This is good. He can help protect Dina. It felt good having him around to deal with the WLF. Maybe he can help us find these people more quickly. I don't want to hear anything about turning back. Actually, do we have... No, we don't. Alright, that's it. <clears throat> At least I think so. Let's be careful on the rest of the way now so I don't accidentally um, waste more ammo. Door was locked too. Actually, before we move on, I need 40. That means I need, okay, so I need like uh, 50 more meds if I want to get everything I want. <clears throat> Feel or love? Who the f are these people? Why do they do this? Yeah, I don't know how loving you can feel when you show that of all things. I don't think this is the right way, so I'm gonna go this way. I always love that term whenever I say it. Like, this is the wrong way. I'm going this way. I don't know how that <coughs> how much that makes sense to you people. But the reason why I say that usually But <coughs> usually when you go the wrong way, <coughs> you might find some interesting stuff. Hmm. Need one more. Got it. I had to make sure that was fully broke. Okay. Maybe...
That's not really gonna work. Wait, 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 maybe... Okay, maybe I should at least wait until I'm fully wrapped up here. Maybe that will help. There we go. That might work. How do I... Damn, I keep forgetting how to do it. There we go. Need bandages, painkillers, vitamins, indicids to monitor pillows. Days. Oh yeah! If I'm right, too, we're heading to the hospital. So, will we get information on what maybe happened to the two that never showed back up? Because if you remember back at the theater, there was a guy who got sick. And his friends was went to go to the hospital to get meds. But we didn't know if they actually went there or if they left him. Simon, I hope you never read this note. I hope I can crumple it up. Burn it when, or, when you return for us. It's been, I don't even know how many hours since you left. I went out to look for you and the, these hooded people spotted me. They shouted at me, calling me a sinner, and then started shooting. I ran back in and barricaded the door. All I can hear is the rain, but I'm worried they're still out there. Should I run? Should I stay? I feel completely paralyzed. I'm sorry I got so sick. I'm sorry I let you go to the hospital by yourself. I'm sorry I didn't stay hidden like you told me. If anything happens to me, I want you to know how much I love you. Please come back. I'm so scared. Paige. Yeah. I have a feeling we're going to be meeting these people here soon. Shift. Shift. Real name, Gail Price. Brain 60, Brawn 60. Affiliation Society of Champions. At first glance, Gail Price looks uh, and acts like a typical teenager, mood swings and all, but those mood swings power her ability to increase the velocity of matter. When happy, she directs the power outwards, increasing the speed of her allies and throwing her enemies off balance. When sad, she directs this power inward, allowing her to outrun her enemies and making the rest of the world feel sluggish. Though powerful, uh, she is an unpredictable ally and an easy target for the mind manipulation tricks of motivator, neutral hero. Huh. I'm guessing we're going to have to keep an eye out for the motivator. Also, there is not a lot... Of, oh, here we go. That, that's a little bit better. I was about to say, there's not a lot of really good supplies in here. I was kind of expecting a little bit more. But whatever. Okay, that's the one store I went to. Ow. Um, let's move on, then. I don't know if you can find stuff in the cars anymore. I felt like you could. Oh, that looks like a new location I can go into. Not there, but right here. Nope, nope, no you cannot. Okay, never mind. Oh yeah, can I even... No, I don't have enough bottle yet. That's the most weirdest term I've ever said. I don't have enough bottle yet. That looks like the right way to go. I'm gonna go this way instead then. Don't see anything. Oh, 
Don't hear anything. Oh, this is broken glass. Looks like someone might have been staying in here. There's kegs in here. Safe. Star sign. Real name Zhang Li. Brains 80, Brawn 80, Affiliation Society of Champions. Once a humble museum curator, Zhang Li was poring over Han Dynasty, or Han Dynasty, I think that's actually how you say it, when he found himself transformed by the spirits of the great Chinese emperors. Now, depending on the hour of day, he takes on the elemental power from each sign from the Chinese zodiac. Terrakinesis, Pyrokinesis, Aquakinesis, Ferrokinesis, and... Arbor Kinesis? He also takes on both the positive and negative personality traits of each sign, which can be advantage or disadvantage depending on the situation. Best hope you catch him on a good day, time of day. Neutral hero. Oh, we're finding a lot more neutral heroes. What's this? Ten oh eight thirteen. Probably what's gonna be anniversary, like a special date. Ten oh eight. No. Oh, damn it. Is it by chance? Sorry, I, I just spaced out for a second. Um, 83 or 93? How's about that? So 10... What was it? 10... Sorry, I lost focus again. 10.08, maybe 80? Oh, frick, I just messed up my numbers. Yeah. 10.08 and maybe... So, if you're wondering what I did, was at first I tried the anniversary date, but then I was like, wait, it could be the original anniversary. So I took 30 minus 2013, taking that down to like 1983. So, sometimes I could be pretty damn good at puzzles. Oh, hey, this was here. Didn't see this. Darling, I got everything packed, but Fedra's already starting to put people on buses, and I have no idea where you disappeared to. If I'm going before you get back, if I'm gone before you get back, I stashed a few of my things in the safe. Maybe an overabundance of caution, but Fedra's been confiscating things due to quarantine. All smells fishy to me. Combination is still set to our wedding date. I mean, it's been 30 years, but I assume you remember when that was, right? See you soon. Love, Ellen. The thing is, for the note to still be there, and the fact that it doesn't look like anyone obviously grabbed anything. Either he never came back or never made it. Which is both sad to even think about. Something ain't right. I don't like this.
Someone's here. Get down! Isaac can go to hell! Oh, it was glass. Oh, that's such a cool detail. Look at that. There's like glass in his face. Jesus. Said they were part of the WLF, but it was saying they said screw Isaac. And if I'm right, Isaac is their leader. So, oh, this might have been the people they were talking about. Yeah, I think we just found the people who got away with weapons. Let me guess, they were hiding in here. Hey Melissa, I'm leaving this here in case you decide to join us after all. We are moving on from the safe house at first light. I've stalled the others as long as I could, but Isaac has been looking for us by now. Has to be looking for us by now. The fate of the last group of deserters is still fresh in our minds. The plan is still to head south and see if those rumors are true. Maybe it's all bullcrud, but I'll take hopeful bullcrud over Isaac's fanaticism any day of the week. Remember who we are. The WLF took us in, but they're not our people. I really wish you had left the stadium with us. Hope you do. I hope you still do. Gee, so. Well, another book. Chemistry. I'll read this later. That seems to be our final one. Craft arrows with explosive tips that deal massive damage in a blast radius. That's good. Craft many more effective trap mines that are deadlier at greater range. That's good. <clears throat> That's also good. Increase your craft amount. Oh, I make more. Oh, that's really good. Okay. I'm going to get this, though, first. I want this. I want the... Wait. No, I got what I need. Oh. Yeah, then we're moving on to this. This is next. <laughs> Ammo, that's good. Need more. This is one thing. You always have to try to shoot as less as you can, if possible. And try to always, like, um, use everything you can to your effectiveness. Like, you don't use too many of your traps and items just so you can kill a few people. Try your best to try and, um, sneak around and kill them. I feel bad for them though because they were just people trying to escape. But same time they did just try to kill me, so Alright, let's see what we can do for the bow. Draw speed. I'm doing that. I think draw speed would have been good too, but having the idea where I need to shoot is way better, so. Recoil or fire rate. Alright, that's that's good then. While aiming at an enemy, an additional marker will show the exact range of the enemy on the reticle.
Oh, that's weird. It just moved it over to the left. Or right. Be more careful. The funny thing was, I knew about that room. And I decided to explore a little bit to figure some stuff out. I'm going to take a look around and see if I can avoid this trap, because this is weird. Don't see anything. Guess I have to go through. Hmm. Ah, <coughs> oh, it's a basement. That's why. Oh. I think I'm safe now. I'm guessing that was like another way for me to get in. So no matter what, I was going to be making noise on my way in. I guess that's the... Is there anything that uses duct tape? No. I'm going to make an arrow then. Actually, no. I won't. Because if I can... Well, maybe. Get to the two arrow creation thing. I'd rather just wait. Oh, how did I not see that? Alright, time to actually go the correct way now. I guess it's not going to work. Alright. Well, that's shady. I need it to get through, I'm guessing, because this is also going to be unlocked. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, I'm making sure it's safe, which it seems to be. Alright, I'm going to get... Shut that off. I'm going to get this up here first. I think you can tell what we have to do here. Okay. Can I jump, please? There we go. Why won't let me jump there? Whatever. I just wanted to see if there was anything up there, but wouldn't let me jump. Just in case.
There it is. Oh, we got a long way to go. What's your right, Ellie? Lake Hill, Seattle Hospital. I think this is it. Watch for the big red sign. That's the best idea, huh? Be a way up there. Might be. I'm definitely not jumping down from here. I don't think there's anything up there. I think it's just all for looks. Okay, I do have to be careful because I don't got a brick. Or a bottle. I don't have Rick or Oliver, so... What's that? Actually... What's this way? Okay, nothing down that way. What happened though? That's the thing. That's a point of no return, so I'm going back. Have a bottle or a brick. Might have to waste a bullet.
Arch Enemy. <laughs> real good. Arch Enemy, real name, Marcus Fordham. Brain 60, Bronze 60, affiliation none. A former army sharpshooter and a seasoned bow hunter. This vigilante path was forged when his family was caught in the crossfire between the new dogs and the Society of Champions. Destroyed by grief, he turned to the most dangerous game. Not human, but superhuman. Donning high-tech camouflage and claiming the moniker Arch Enemy. He menaced both sides of the war with his hun hunter instinct. A compound bow and <laughs> arsenal of high-tech traps. Neutral villain. Oh, of course. I could get, like, tons of these freaking bottles, but... I got one I needed, so I guess I got a return in investment. I already know this part's safe, so during its first two years of development, the paper oh wow, actual history for this place. I love that stuff. Figure it out. God, they're silent. One just. Come on. I don't feel like that was all of them. I don't know where that one went.
Dodge, Ellie. <sighs> I just couldn't dodge. I was pressing it, and she just didn't want to do it. Uh, that screwed me up entirely. I don't know where I'm at right now. I don't know if there's like some already dead or not. I don't know if these ones are like intelligent to know that there's a flashlight or or if they're stupid. There's one. Seriously? That's it then. Good. How do I get out of here? Alright, let's take a look around. That went a lot better that time. At least I killed a lot more than that one thorough. Might be wondering why do I just make a med kit and just use it? It's morely the fact that you can probably survive most damage half the time, especially now that I have the ability to where I can survive like one lethal hit, um, survive a hit, and it'll just become like um, lethal. So that's partly why that. Whatever, I'll just go with it. Um, so I might as well just go with, you know, not using a health kit until at least I'm now like at lethal damage. Now I don't have to worry about like dying instantly, no matter what. Not only that too, having items to fight than heal is usually better in my opinion. Because I have more options to keep myself from needing to use um, a med kit. Because usually if you're smart on how you do it, you can throw items or use weapons that will keep you from having to, to fight more. Or if you're lucky you can find food. It's nice to see though, it seems like um, alcohol and rags are like easier to find. Because that was like one of the things that was just impossible to find. I can make one of these. I'll do it. I haven't used the smoke one yet. I don't at least remember using it. But I don't think it's as useful. Sorry, it's just like one of those things where like you just have to explore no matter what. Oh, somewhere around here. Oh. Maybe it's the the window. Oh boy. Where's the hospital? Much farther. Well, Ellie can swim, so at least she's not completely screwed if she falls in.
Um, that looks like the right way to go. Yeah, I have to go that way. That means I might fight some more. That was embarrassing. <laughs> Thing is, there mu that must be the only clicker because the other ones would have definitely shown up by now. Also, that was such a waste of an arrow, but I kind of freaked out. I heard something. Fuck. Yep, right there. I just saw movement. They're right behind that desk. I'm gonna go a different way. I love the confirmation, that's always a good thing to have in games. Games always need like a confirmation when fights are over. That's just a little mandatory thing in my opinion. Because if you never know when the fight's over, then you don't know when it's time to relax or keep on moving. Especially when it's games like these where you have to do like stealth. And try to not to waste your supplies accidentally so much. It's very needed to know when it's over or not. Here we go. I'm going in the water.
What did I throw? I don't know what I th Okay, I definitely wasn't- I must have threw a, a bottle or something. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I better watch out for that. I'm not expecting that. Get me the hell out of here. <sighs> Where the hell did I end up? All right. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it like I did, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.